Hello and welcome to round one of the Nationals Tournament with me, Rebecca Gillard, and joined as always by Richard Walker. Hello. Hello. And for our first round then, we have got um, James Jamie Parsons uh, playing Night's Watch Wars versus David Comerford playing Greyjoy Stag. Cool, man. Yeah, a little bit different from the main um, decks that are out at the moment, but they ended up on table one for the first round, so we get to see their decks. Yeah, that's a nice map David got. Mmm, I've got one of those. Have you? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I think you found that's my mat. And uh, also on the left, um, James mat, you can see um, he's using the prize support that's going to be provided during the uh, Veterans Tournament next month. So if you're in the UK on September 9th and you want to um, turn up and, and some uh, really awesome prizes just for turning up, then you'd also get the chance of winning one of these mats, which is really gorgeous. Mmm. So um, we've got our setup here then. Uh, on the left, Jamie has played um, Mr. Eamon. Um, oh, I was going to say the character's been picked up. Is that Gren or Pip? Pip. Pip. Which one's Pip? Pip, the one that gives someone insight to the end of the phase. Oh, okay. And you can choose who you give the insight to. Yeah. Okay. And um, is that an underground vault as well? Yeah. Yeah. So a bit of economy too. Yep. Um, on David's side, we've got a um, Shireen Brathian. Um, is it a drown? No, it's not a drown god. What's drown that? men. Drown men, that's it. And I think that's the Gregor Hall down the bottom there. Yep, looks like it. Some very weird lighting in the hall, so I apologise for, well, everything's got a bit of a blue sheen on David's side there, isn't it? Um, plot wise, then, we've got a um, summer harvest into a trading, so Jamie's going to be absolutely rolling in it. So that's a pretty good hit. Mm. <clears throat> so, yeah. What do you think so far? Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, don't really know yet which e- what either of the decks are doing. Okay. Night's Watch War, don't know if it's running a wall, any wall. Pip seemed to indicate it might be a Jon Snow Voltron deck, maybe. Okay. Or Haunted Forest Scout. Not sure. David deck. Greyjoy Stag could be big Greyjoy stuff supplemented with Neil. I don't know. So what I will say is I've just finished editing this video, so I, I know what the decks are doing. Um, and I really love both of them. <laughs> David's is actually really quite cool. I really like the combination that it's got going on. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll, I won't give too much away. We'll wait and, uh, and see a bit more as the game goes on. Okay. Um, so, um, we have uh, another great hall played, um, so that we can get Euron out. And then we've got, um, a Maester Wendermere and a boat. Is that Kraken? Great Kraken? Looked to me like it's the Black Wind. The Asher's Black ship. Wind. Asher's ship. Okay, so this one gives Asher a noun and just something else that I've forgotten. Um, when you pillage in a location or attachment, you can draw a card. Okay, cool. And on Euron, he's also been given um, an attachment, which oh, is a, nice. support of, a support of Harlow. Yeah. Um, and this is one where you can um, kneel a warship to choose to give the character um, a, tr- uh, a trait, is it? A keyword, sorry? Keyword, So you yeah. can give him pillage, stealth, or renown. renown. Is it just those three? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, so... So David's got a boat there that he's willing, going to be willing to kneel. Mm-hmm. Yorn already has Pillage and Renown, so I guess he's going to get stealth. <laughs> Sounds that way, doesn't it? That seems pretty cool. And the Drown Men there, they're three strength, um, but they get plus one strength because they're the warship. Um, does support of, um, support of Harlor count as a warship? Has it got the warship trait? No. No? Okay. No. It has to be an actual warship location for the Drown yeah, Men. Yeah, I think it... I'm going to check this on Throne DB. <laughs> It's Wednesday we're working again now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Uh, Euron's just been milked, so um, support of Harlow will actually be able to <laughs> give him an, give him a uh, keyword at least. Been good. Mm-hmm. But no more uh, stealing locations. Which is probably good, because Jamie's got a location in his discard pile there. What is that location, Richard? Is that a Jade Seed Raymond? City Gates. City Gates, what does that do? Hold on, I'm looking at support Harlow. I can't do both. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Richard, are these cards I don't know. No, it only has the Harlow trait. It doesn't have the warship trait. So okay. it, it doesn't count. 
Okay, so that's the first one. Cool. What does the castle gates do? Um, city gates. Oh, city gates, sorry. Basically, pay one gold and discard it to draw a card. Okay. It feels like something you'd normally leave out for a little while to get the gold back before you do it. You, know, you have to discard it from your hand. Oh, okay. Cool, so I guess Jamie's done that. So if you top deck it in the late game and you don't need econ, you can just throw it away and pay a gold to draw a card. Yeah, I guess um, the two underground vaults mean that he's got plenty of gold. Yeah. I mean, look how much he's sitting on. He's played out Messenger Raven. Um, he's also played out two other characters. Um, I'm not sure who the one on the horse is with the military and the intrigue. The one on the horse is the Naive Scout. It's the new card. So it's three gold, military intrigue, bicon, uh, four strength. Mm -hmm. And whilst there is a card in shadows, they cannot be declared as a defender. Okay. So there's not too many shadows at the moment, so I guess they're quite good. Yeah. And they've also got... Um, is that the... Uh, the ranger, the lost ranger. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it is. And that's the one where if there are another rangers on the board, you have to discard it. Yeah. Um, however, it's uh, uh, just a military icon, but it's got like four strength or something. That's right. So it's quite a strong one. And it's only like two cost. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. I'm guessing Jamie doesn't have a power icon. He um, doesn't, does he? No. I suppose this deck would be suited for Jeremy Ricker. Mm-hmm. So let's hope he finds him then. So David has triggered support of Harlow to give you on pillage, mm -hmm. which is uh, interesting. And we've got a defender at the wall discarded for claim, is it? Yeah, for intrigue claim. Yeah, and a nightmare pillage. is pillaged. Mm -hmm. And the drum men have already done a military challenge, which um, was unopposed and using Amon to save someone. <laughs> A knife scout there doing the intrigue challenge, which is going to go through unopposed. And claim of... Davos. Davos. Sad. But good for Jamie, gets rid of that stealth. And a military there with um, the Lost Ranger and Pip. It's Pip on this one, wasn't it? Yep. Um, giving um, the Lost Ranger insight, I think. To draw a card. I'm not sure why the... Oh, and the messenger raven was knelt because of the shireen. <laughs> David's like, I will kneel something. Um, so, uh, dominance, Jamie's done. Messenger raven comes back to hand to draw a card. So I'm wondering how many uh, cards Jamie's got in hand. He might need to discard some because late summer... Oh, sorry, summer harvest is um, relatively low reserve, right? Yeah, six. Four, five, six. Oh, it's got six. Perfect. So yeah, there's quite a quick first round there. Yeah, there's no messing about. They know what they want to do. Mm hmm So now we've got a few things on the board. Can you see what each deck is trying to do? Do you have an idea? Yeah, I think Jamie is the a derivative of his Night's Watch Crossing deck, which did run Jon Snow... But I'm sure Wars gives him some extra plots that he w would like to use. Mm -hmm. And uh, where's David? Haha, <laughs> raiding the Bay of Ice, huh? What does that one do again? Um, when you win a uh, a challenge as the attacking player, near a warship to choose a non-limited location controlled by the losing opponent and put it on top of their deck. Okay. But it doesn't count as discarding, doesn't count as sacrificing. Which means you can do it to red door locations like Marine, for example. Oh. Well, I'm glad I didn't face that. Because <laughs> that would have been annoying. And if you got someone like Euron, it can be pillaged away. Ah. That's a bit naughty, David. And then if you pillage it away, you can trigger Black Wind to draw a card because it's a location. <laughs> I feel like David's a bit of a combo deck here then. Not a combo deck, but there's synergy. There are quite a few synergies, um, you know. But I think, yeah, he seemed to be focused on warships. Mm -hmm. um, not so maybe pulling entirely in for the warships. sure why he gone with Stag, but we've seen Davos, who is a smuggler, and Davos had a boat, which is also a warship. Okay. Um, then maybe he's imported that. Maybe we'll see some pirates. Pirates could be cool. That would be cool. You've been um, talking a little bit about the uh, smuggler deck, haven't you? Yes. 
So, um, yeah. Maybe this is a smuggler deck. It's not a smuggler deck. There are no extent. smugglers. <laughs> Where are the smugglers? <laughs> well, they're so stealthy, you can't see them yet. It's not a smuggler deck <laughs> unless you're running Salad or Sam. Okay. Is he loyal? No. Well, then it might be in here, honey. It might be. You'll have to wait and find out. Well, I will wait patiently to find out. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, um, Jamie's finished marshalling there. Um, and we've got Pip and Gren out now. Pip and Gren. Gren seem to be double duped. That's pretty cool. And uh, David's marshalled Iron Victory and no characters. Oh, that's not and so played good. Rose Road. Um, okay, so we have an intrigue. You're on, um, being given pillage and kneeling to defend. I'm fairly sure you have to kneel the location, not the attachment, for support of Harlow. We'll have but, a little look. But yeah, I'm not obviously entirely sure. Yeah, kneel a warship location to have the attached character gain pillage, renown, or stealth. Oh. So that's important because some warships, like, for example, the Iron Fleet Scout or Black Betha, etc., they, you need to kneel them to use their actions. Okay. And so that hopefully that doesn't become relevant. Hopefully Dave will have um, picked that up by the end of the game and be playing it properly for the rest of the tournament. Yeah. I'm sure someone would have pointed it out to him. It's, I think the problem is because is it's not as used, mm. um, people don't know the effect as well. So we had a military go through there, um, and using... Oh, oh, I shouldn't have done it on Euron. That's a rookie error. That is a rookie error. You silly sod. Oh, well, that happened. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing you learn not to do from the corset. <laughs> From the corset. Yeah, Slightly harsh. It Sorry, is. David. It but is. it's true. <laughs> yeah, the amount of times I've had a risen from the sea cancelled on my Balon from corset. And just because you want to make him one drink bigger so fewer things can oppose you, you do it on Balon and they go, well, you know what? Hand judgment. And you've already picked Balon for claim now, so. Yeah. Oh, uh, well. Perhaps he tried his luck, thought Jamie's not going to be playing hand judgment. Spoiler. Jamie is playing hand judgment. <laughs> it's not a spoiler if we've already seen it. Um, and yeah, just um, Gren's reaction lets um, someone else, you, you steal a power and put it on someone else that's in the challenge with Another it. participating <clears throat> attacker, yeah. That's it. And then if, if that attacker if is standing, standing, then you get two. There that's you go. right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so on to the next plot. So really quick. They've got a trade route into Forced March. One military icon. Seems like a good shout to go Forced March. Jamie taking a little control <clears> now. <throat> David getting lots and lots of money. Yeah, he should get eight, I think. If he picked a six or seven class character, he's got two great hall with plenty of chain to spare. I he's think got he plenty just of cards as well. So Yeah, I think he just picked up a um, Balon. King or Core? King. That's cool. Jamie's unlikely to have kings. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if um, David's playing King of the North. So another Rose Road there. Then two great halls to play out. Oh, going for Asher. Like Was this the Balon you thought you saw? Or no, is the Balon I think coming I saw Balon. as well? <clears throat> I don't know if you can afford both, can you? Well, he did a trade route for what? Eight, nine, collected four gold, so he should have 13 gold. Great haul. Yeah, he could afford 17 gold worth of character. Yeah, maybe he just wanted to repopulate the border bit. Because, <coughs> like, he's played out the another drum men, and also a Tris Botley. Well, he played out 15 gold worth of things. So he's using Tris there to go and take the milk. Oh, I know it's up changing his mind. Yep, yeah, going for milk. Because <coughs> he doesn't want one of those played on Asher. Apparently not. Asher boats out, so Asher has renown now. Awesome. Which is nice. 
And Jane there getting ready for his marshalling, just collecting his gold. He has been using his underbound vaults um, as actions during David's marshalling. I'm looking forward to seeing the drowned men in action more. Ooh, cold hands. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, that card is evil. Can I read cold hand, please? <laughs> this cannot be true. <laughs> How has this card fucked me up so much? <laughs> And a messenger raven. Wow. So round one, David lost Euron to a dodgy risen. That was round two, wasn't it? Oh, was it round two? Apologies. Yeah. Round three, his ash has been stolen by uh, cold hands. Wow, I wonder what's going to happen to Balon. <laughs> Intrigue claim. Heads on spikes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Cold Hands, um, just as a reminder, um, basically when he um, comes into play, uh, I think it's a reaction, is it? Um, you take one character from each side, or from each person, yeah. each player, um, and basically they go under Cold Hands and um, <clears throat> cannot return to the board until Cold Hands leaves play. But when he leaves play, they both return to the board. Um, so, you just need to get rid of him, basically. Yeah. Uh, military there from David and uh, using Mace Raymond to save a character. Jamie there doing the intrigue, which is unopposed and claim of. Not Balon. <laughs> Not Balon, spot Harlow. The military with uh, the expected duo. Name a more dynamic duo. Hmm. So, reaction to winning the military was stealing a power from David. However, Jamie forgets to take the unopposed power here. Damn you, Jamie. And then the military claim. And draw a card from the insight. And You've finally, power, power challenge. Claim. Yeah, unopposed and claim for the power challenge. So what, Jamie should be 8-4? Yeah. Taking Dom be. as well? Yeah, so it should yeah. be 9-4 now. But yeah, he got control here. <clears throat> You've got more characters, however, David's got some beat sticks on the board. Mm. You know, big, dumb armies, six strength at the moment, or are they five? Yeah, five strength. Yeah, they're normally three, aren't they? Yeah. But then there's two ships at the moment. So I think Jamie's having to discard to reserve, or Smarty has only five reserves, so that can hurt. Um, especially when Triss is on the board, so you have to be careful what you get rid of. Yeah, he got rid of a ranging party. <coughs> Seems a little bit risky. Which is a big power icon, and he is not currently blessed in power icons. Hmm. Then maybe he has more in hand. Okay, yeah. so round four, we're not even 20 minutes in. Well done, guys. This is how quick it should be played, right? <laughs> well, this is pretty good for um, for David now. However, Jamie can now just kneel out, you know, a character that's going to come back to hand anyway. Yeah, kneel out Naive Scout, so. So that was a good second forced march, which is a really good call in Jamie's deck, because he has a lot of military icons. Yeah, I think um, Jamie's going to lose. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm off. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, Jamie's going to lose quite a few characters off his board here. Um, and he's only going to have... Cold Hand and Gren. Five gold? Because <coughs> he only got on Scout, so it's just going to be one each, right? Oh, what? no, because there's two Rose Roads. So does that take it to the five? Yeah. So he gets the two gold yeah. per one. Yeah. Okay, that's not as bad then. So he's going to get nine gold. Yeah. So just looking for Triss actions here. I'll be Get tempted rid of the take, ranging party. Yeah, I'll be tempted to take the ranging party, maybe. Looks like it's going to be the hand's judgment, so it may be that, you know, having been bitten by it before, he's a bit nervous about it. He wants to get rid. Maybe he has another event in hand. Maybe. Oh, another boat? What's this one? Is that Black Betha? Hard to tell. Can't quite see. It could be the Valyrian. How much did he pay? One? 
I'm not sure. Where's the phone? Go on, phone's to be it. You do it. Oh, I'm really rubbish at finding these. Do it. <laughs> okay. You need to I'm talk intrigued then. to see what Jamie's going to do. You commentate while I while I Google. I will commentate when there are things worth mentioning. <laughs> but at the moment they're just thinking going on. <clears throat> but at least David got King Balon out. He's not going to kneel to do a military challenge. That's going to put pressure on Jamie's board. Especially seeing as half of it will come back to hand through first. No. You're spending some money now, Rebecca. It is the Valyrian. So the Valyrian um, is, again, warship. Cost one. Near the Valyrian to give an attacking character plus X strength until the end of the challenge. X is a number of gold in the defending player's gold pool. So Jamie, very kindly, has left zero gold. <laughs> and is bringing cards back to hand. Oh, there's a Corrin half hand. There is Corrin with a half hand. With a half hand, indeed. Well, luckily for David, those drowned men are six strength. So there are no non-unique characters that can be killed by Corrin. Oh, okay. Unless he can buff Corrin strength by two. What strength is Corin normally? Five. And he needs to be a higher strength than the person that he kills. I'm not sure if it's equal or lower or just lower. Okay. Maybe you can go and DB that as well. What? You're normally the Thrones, DB, Thrones DB guy. Yeah, but I'm poorly, don't you mean? <laughs> You're not poorly. Right, what am I looking for? Corin. Corin half hand. Corin. So Jamie wins the challenge with Corin, but doesn't take his renown. <laughs> Autocorrect uh, changed it to who run half hand. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and won't stop doing it. <laughs> stop, I want Corin. Not waiting. Right, what we got? Lower strength. So there you go. What's going on then, Richard? We've just had a burst of challenges, defendings. Any development? Not really. Yeah, Balon did a military, defended by Jamie. He didn't take coins for now. Um, and then David did a power, which was defended by Colhan, but still lost. So David comes back into it at 6-6. Six, six. Well, technically, it should be seven six, right? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, did um Jamie forget to take the renown? Yes. It was this round wasn't it? So I it should I've be eight six then. Now. No, no. So it should be eight six now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying because he forgot the unopposed uh, before, and then um the renown on the last round. So it should so be eight six to Jamie now. The boards are pretty even now. Hmm. Quite know balanced. Jamie has lots of characters in hand, but what about David? But David's going to win or die. And if he wins at this stage, I'll be amazed. So Jamie had a reserve of um, five, right? Because you played Force March last time? Sorry? Uh, Jamie played Force Ma Forced March last turn, right? Yeah, he did. So yeah. he, had, he would have had a reserve of five? Six, because the Iron Throne. Ah, okay. So he obviously just guarded the Hand Judgment because he can't use it. Because Triss... Oh, right. I was getting really confused because I could see the hand's judgment. I was like, well, it's not putting anything away because the hand judgment's there. But no, that's because it's... He just got it, another one, yeah. See, there's a Balon. I told you there's a Balon. Mmm, Rebecca, you're about a, <laughs> a round behind. You told me to throw in CB stuff. <laughs> I told. I, I commentated saying Balon has hit the board. Did you? Balon done a military challenge. Jamie defended with Corin and Gren. Didn't oh, take the renown. Oh, right. I wasn't paying attention. No, you were I thought you could do two things at once. Well, I can't read and listen at the same time. You are the worst. What? Who taught you how to be a human? <laughs> you can't say things like that. I just said that. We'll have words later, darling. Okay, honey. <laughs> um, Jamie's got like... Like a little, you know, like the dragons have like the little pile of gold and they sit on their gold as like a bed. Jamie's, yeah. like, it looks like Jamie's attempting to do that. I mean, he might need slightly more to use it as a bed, but like, you know, he's getting like a little pile there on his little mountain on, on his playmat. It's like the desolation of smog. Yeah. 
Yes. I'm too excited about this, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to shut up. Anywho, how have you even got that many gold coins? This needs a political disaster and then a Valar just to make things <laughs> clean again. Yeah, but we've got two naive scouts. Three naive... No, two naive scouts. You need the Jeremy Ricker to give everything a power icon. Mmm. Mace Draymond back on the board again. There he is. <laughs> it's Jeremy. So everyone's... Has everyone got a power icon? Apart from Maimon? Anything with a ranger, yeah. So, uh... Corin has two power icons. <laughs> naive scout, a uh, tricon. Who can defend and attack... Ah, uh, so that's good. And um, just because it might be relevant, Jamie's sitting on eight gold. Just because of the Valyrian. Ha! <laughs> that's funny. Oh, we've got an extra ship out. Yeah, it's a great Kraken. Awesome. David could really rush ahead with this one then. Okay, so we've got a bit of a wall on either side here. But the drowned men are now, what, five, six, six strength? Seven strength? Seven. There's <clears> four <throat> warships. The Valyrian, the Great Crack, and the Iron Victory, and the Black Wind. Okay. So they're seven strength each. So he, David going in for military for 12. Wow. Seems all right. Well, Jamie could defend it. It's too claim actually, isn't it? Because of um, you win or you die. Yeah. So I mean, if Jamie does fully defend it. He could kill the Lyseni pirate who is uh, four strength only, or is it three strength? It might be three strength. Okay. Um, because they're non-unique with strength lower than Corin. What does Lyseni pirate actually do? Uh, he's four cost, mill entry bicon for three strength, and um, first of all. And while you have a warship, they gain to Del. Okay. And then when you win a challenge with them, you take one of their golds. Okay. I'm not sure if you discard it or, or take it from them yourself, but that happens. Okay. Just worth noting then, um, David play raiding's... Um, oh my God. Raiding the Bay of Ice. Yeah. Um, to put the Iron Throne back on top of Jamie's deck. Yep. Um, he then used the Great Kraken to get a power for the unopposed, plus yep. the unopposed power as well. <clears throat> it's two claim. Jamie claims Cold Hands here, which puts Asher and uh, Jamie's Lost Ranger back on the board. Ooh. But it's two claim, and Jamie forgot to take the second claim here. So oh. he could have now aim on um, as the second claim. Um, and he's got dupes. I don't know how big a thing this is going to be. Okay. But yeah, yeah, he, he did miss a secondary. Grim, yeah. I mean, he did miss taking that second claim. I think probably because they were both talking about what would happen with cold hands. Ah, okay. um, they probably got distracted and basically forgot. Um, but yeah, so there should be one less character on Jamie's side. But to be fair, he should also have plus two power. So <laughs> he's, uh, you know, helped and unhelped himself this game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the game is played at a reasonably fast pace. We're mm. 29 minutes in, and we're on, what, round five? Yeah. And they're still going at it, hammer and tongs. So it's 9-6. <clears throat> um, we've only actually got six minutes left of this. So, um... Yeah, It'll be interesting to see how David it now closed. has two stealth characters on the board, which are going to help with his great Kraken triggers. Mm. Uh, we've got three stealth <clears> characters <throat> on the board, Badon, Asher, and the Lysani Pirate. Oh, wow, okay. He's also got the Iron Throne on top of Jamie's deck, so he's going to get a card draw from the yeah. Black Wind. He's going to get power from the great Kraken. And Asher has um, uh, got renown as well because of her ship. Yeah. So it looks like we're doing a power challenge with um, Asher, Triss, and Balon, and we're stealthing two characters. Who are we going for? Oh, he's putting drowned men as well. Okay. I'm not sure he needs to put that many in because he could always trigger Balon's ability if he's worried. 
But we're going to tr uh, stealth past. Pick two. These two, the naive scouts. <clears throat> so Jamie just defending with the Lost Ranger. So it's not unopposed. But David's going to get um, two claim. And then he should get Renown on Balon and Renown on Asher as well, I believe. Yep. Although he seemed to have forgotten that Asher had Renown. Uh, pillage. Now he remembers Asher had a boat. <laughs> You can draw the card, I guess. <clears throat> he was thinking about doing Ash's ability, but decides not to, I think. One minute. Did he draw the card? No. I think um, because you win or you die, he decided not to. Ah, okay. Fair enough. So he forgot to take Ash's power there. But then... Okay, so he's been the intrigue, stealthing past the naive scout. Kneeling Amon to defend. Um, trick and the reaction to steal gold. Scarred two cards for the Intrigue Claim. And then David just remembers that um, Asher should have Renown and asked if he could take it. And Jamie very kindly said that he could. But it's now Jamie's challenges. So Jamie's doing an Intrigue with the Naive Scout. So Jamie's going to get three unopposed challenges here. So the Intrigue is unopposed, taking the Gates of the Moon. And... I'm not sure Jamie should have chosen Cold Hand to reclaim. I'm not either. Putting Asher on the board is a bit risky, I think, but... Then we've got um, Corin and uh, Gren going in for the military challenge. Um, we can react with Gren to steal a power. And then um, the claim. Drowned men. Drowned men and Renown on Corrin. Corrin also reacted to kill the Lysini pirate, as we mentioned before. Yeah. And then finally a power with... Um, uh, Jeremy Jam Ricker. Jeremy Ricker, that's it. And that's unopposed and claim. And then dominance. And then dom. So let's assume the knife, one of the knife scouts were killed um, as an extra military claim. Um, it wouldn't have made much difference. Jim would have still won Dom there. Yeah. But he took a board present. I wonder if someone's going to play a reset now. Likely Jane more than anyone. Um, yeah. Because if you played Valar D, um, David could only keep... <clears throat> oh, I've got Ooh, Valar Morgunis. Valar M. So that would be why um, Jamie decided to kill... Cold hands then, maybe he was planning ahead. Yeah. Because now um Asher will die. Whereas yep. during the Valor Mogulis, surely Cold Hands would die and then the two characters would hit the board again. So David yep. would have had Asher, right? Mm -hmm. So actually, I'm gonna assume this was just really, really good foreplanning by uh <laughs> by Jamie to make sure that Asher doesn't hit the board on his um Valar turn. Yeah, so Jamie's gonna keep a board where then uh David has another rhythm from the sea. No chance. Hmm. So the Triss cards are still taken out of the game. Um, they are removed from the game. So Jamie can now play other copies of these cards, but not those specific cards. They're just, yeah, out of the game. A bit like Barris. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jamie's got a board now. David doesn't. I assume Jamie's just <clears> going <throat> to win now. because. It seems that way, doesn't it? David Comerford only drew two cards. He won or died, and it looks like he's going to die. It does look like that indeed, doesn't it? Yep, yeah, that's the game. <laughs> so congratulations to Jamie. Um, commiserations to David. It was quite tight all the way through, though. I was a bit unsure about who was going to win. Yeah, that was a big Valar M play. <clears throat> yeah, I think that was really important. Um, so just a couple of things I'd like to say. So um, as always, thank you to all our patrons. Um, if you do want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash the white walkers. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you can see Jamie's play map there for his tournament he'll be holding next month. Um, he's got so much prize support. So um, he's trying to raise money for um, combat stress. So if anybody would like to donate to that, um, I have popped the link that put on the screen. Um, or if you want to go to the tournament, it's September 9th um, at Eclectic Games. Brilliant. So, yeah, thanks everyone as always for watching. We'll try and get round to out as soon as possible. And um, see you then. Fantastic. <laughs> thanks, guys. Goodbye. Bye.